why would someone risk it all for the game they love? This is this is unprecedented. His he's so solid. With such a weird character. The character's like the opposite of Solid. Oh yeah. Why would someone play a character that everyone else has written off when they're trying to become the best player in the world? I just Five thought set. of something, Arius. I just thought of something. What's that? What if a bear becomes our global champion? Ugh. <laughs> Panda. <laughs> Leary? <laughs> and what would compel someone to travel the world, grinding the hardest fighting game out there, all for a meager $7,500 grand prize? Rock's Dragon's Knee, he's gonna have to fight against this new upstart, this guy that just started traveling yeah. first on Esports Rongchu. Tekken is the most exciting fighting game in the world right now. And for Rongchu, the rookie who did all that, it's his life. Make some noise for Rangchu! Tekken is a game dominated by its old guard. It's a storied scene with a legacy of incredible players. Guys like JDCR, Ni, nee, Kunan, Saint have been playing the series for years. Yes, sir! Yeah! Rongchu wasn't one of those household names. In fact, he was basically a nobody before 2018. Rock's Dragon's Knee, he's gonna have to fight against this new upstart, this guy that just started traveling yeah. first on esports Rongchu. He played his first tournament in Korea in 2015, inspired to pick up the game after watching Korea's televised Tekken Crash tournament and watching the pros make the game look incredible. Very important. Oh, and he's my. gonna take it. Oh. oh, finishes off with a great throw. Being a new player is hard enough, but starting fresh in Tekken is harder than in any other game. See, the top players have been playing for years, and that means a lot more in Tekken than anywhere else. Me looking very dominant in this matchup, unlike what we've seen before. Wow. Now he's up two rounds this is, against rank two. I feel like, yeah, I feel me was like just, you know, oh, it's you scripted. can win. Yeah, Part of the reason is Tekken doesn't really change. You know, like the core Tekken gameplay has been the same since Tekken 5. If anything, the game has been simplified, right? So anyone who had legacy skill, who had trained at some point long enough, hard enough to compete at the highest level, those skills are gonna carry over. And on top of that, Tekken is fucking hard. Each character has somewhere around 100 potential attacks to use in a match, and the 3D battle system is pretty difficult to pick up for people coming from 2D games like Street Fighter or Marvel vs. Capcom. When you go back to like something like Street Fighter, you know like, okay, I can do a link combo here because I'm plus three here and I have a three frame jab, etc. right? In Tekken, you're like, I got him in the air, I can do whatever move I want. You know, you have a roster of like 100 moves in your move list, you can be like, all right, I'm gonna try this one, that one there, extend the combo with this move, and then get to a the combo. There's a basic combo structure, but it's totally freeform in how you want to use it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Basically, it's gonna be hard for any aspiring Tekken pro, but Rongchu persevered, and to get better, he trained at Green Arcade. Tekken is the most popular fighting game in Korea, home to some of the best players in the world. There was a location test at a place known as Green Arcade, one of the Tekken capitals of the world. Green Arcade was Tekken's mecca. Before it closed in 2018, it was the place where champions were forged. Green Arcade is often packed and is decorated with the accolades and trophies won by the players that go there. I noticed they even had Mii's Evo 2013 trophy for Tekken Tag 2. All of Korea's greatest Tekken players went there to learn, train, and just catch a few games after school or work. The etiquette to getting the next game is putting coins on the machine, not too unlike the US. But they might not get up right away if they're in the middle of a special revenge match to maintain their rank. But Rongchu, still in high school at the time, had to work hard to get the pro's attention. So he studied moveless instead of schoolwork and kept coming back to Green Arcade to get his shit kicked in by the best players in the world. I went to Green Arcade like in 2010, around there, 2011, and I was getting beat up by little, literally middle schoolers. It might have been Rongchu beating me up in the arcade back then. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's an experience that you cannot get anywhere. Really sad that the arcade is gone. Eventually, Rongshu began to grind the tournament circuit, but to make his life even harder, he didn't pick a top tier character like Devil Jin or Xiao Yu. He played Panda. Panda. Really? Panda. Rongshu didn't play Panda because she was some secret top tier pick, though. No, Panda is a giant, slow target in the game all about speed and grace. Instead, he picked her because, like you and me, 
There are some things that Hongshu just isn't very good at. Tekken Crash 때 이제 한코마 선수를 보고 시작한 게 있었고 두 번째 이유로는 이제 제가 사람들이 별로 쓰지 않는 비즈류 캐릭터를 주로 선호해서 사용하고 있는데 또그 중에 하나가 팬더이고 제가 사이드 스텝을 잘 제가 사용을 잘 못하는데 또 팬더는 그런 거를 별로 안 써도 되고 그 다음에 리치도 길어가지고. By the time he could finally travel to international tournaments in 2018, Rangchu made his name known. Guys, give it up for Rangchu getting fourth place here in Poland. Thank you so much for coming down. Wow. Fursan, Rangchu, first time out of Asia. And what a performance from him. He took fifth, sixth at the Tekken World Tour Korea Masters, then fourth at Fighting Games Challenge in Poland. And in Taiwan, he made it all the way to second place. 罗马非常有力的局势，最后一个下一手带走了Ranger，恭喜我们的冠军罗马。Unfortunately for Rongchu, there were two guys he could never quite beat. The only problem he's really had throughout the entire tour was Ni and Kudans, right? Those are two guys that always gave him issues. Kudans and Ni stood in Rongchu's way time and time again, beating him at Abu Get Cup. Can Rongchu make a comeback? Ni! Never mind. Evo 2018. Hey, he killed him! Very nice! Did you see that little timing stutter yeah. at the end? And Rev Major. Oh, man! And there it is! Again. The Look at the crowd, that's skin. how I'm feeling too. Everyone with their hands on their head. They're like, what the hell happened there at the end? And though Rongchu kept pushing, those losses took their toll and made him question his character choice. Throughout the year, I've seen him switch characters. I've seen him try out like Geese Howard or something against the end. It always bothered me. I was like, why aren't you just using the panda? Like, clearly your panda is good enough to get you to this level. Why do you not believe in it? Rongshu kept bringing out other characters at tournaments, stronger characters on paper, to try to defeat his demons. I didn't even notice Rongshu's pick chose Lee. I, I, did you just see me blink? I was like, uh, excuse me? <laughs> but it was panda that worked. Every tournament Rongshu played well at, Panda was the one that got him that far. So when the World Tour Finals came around, Rongchu played Panda, and he toppled his group. Set him up and punch. And Rongchu two O's Chanel. Oh, there he goes. He hit that one. Yeah, doesn't find the rage drive. That will do it, Rongchu. Over for Sarasu now, 2 0 here in Group A. Uh oh. Ah, very nice work. Wow. Zane pulls through. And Rongju gets his first loss here in the group stage. Yeah. 4 oh. 2 2 1 to punish, and that will be that. Rangju moves on over Anakin. Raises his arms in victory there. Solid, dominant performance. Only to face off against one of his demons in the first round of the bracket. Me. Oh yeah, and I wow. hope you guys are ready for this. So, number one in points throughout the Tekken oh, World man. Tour season, Mr. Rock's gaming knee out of South Korea against Rongchu. Once again, Rongchu doubted himself. Wow, picking geese against uh, Devil Jin here. Okay, okay, here we go. Game one. So we are uh, we are not going to see the bear here from uh, Forsan Rongchu. Oh yes, interesting choice. And instead of playing Panda, he brought out geese and Fang. Now look at Whoa, this pick. Whoa, sh exactly unprecedented pick. It didn't work. Not only is this impressive just for the sake of this match right now, but you know everyone else in this top eight is watching this, right? Oh man, he's working Whoa. that rage right now. Okay, careful. Oh man, just not allowing the comeback. There was hope for a moment, but knee. He's such an unstoppable force. Nothing personal, just Incredible. business. Down in losers, Rongshu had already proven more than enough. He's figured out how to make bears work in a tournament setting. Oh man, it, that, that nice. definitely works out. He had proven that the new generation of Tekken talent was worth taking just as seriously as the old guard. He had proven that Panda was stronger than most people thought. Nice. Oh my gosh, here we go, Rongchu putting on a clinic here. He had proven that he had what it takes to stand alongside those players he saw on TV all those years ago. This is this is unprecedented. His he's so solid. With such a weird character. The character is like the opposite of solid. Oh yeah. But that didn't mean it was time for him to give up. Oh man, here we go. Has wow. an opportunity. That's going to be it. Rongchu the celebration. John Ding. After dispatching John Ding and Chanel, Rongchu found himself face to face with Ni once again. So this is our losers finals match, which means from here on out, all the sets are going to be three out of five. Yes. But this time, he went panda.
all the way. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Oh, and and he, he went with it. He finally picked the panda, but yeah. you know what? And he is picking Devil Jim. Yes, let's see what the character can bring to the table here. We've seen such solid gameplay out of Rank Chu using this weird, obscure character at such a high level. <laughs> he had wow. the oh my god. The this jungle is, uppercut. This is big. Delays the second hit. Oh! Nice, he was able to attack Great the lip there. Great job using that stance! Wow, that was sick. There's, yeah. Oh, he's gonna clutch it out and that's gonna be it. Rank Chu right now. The most impressive we've seen so far, him against Ni. Oh! Oh, wrong oh! really? Are you gonna tie it up like this? Wow, the dashing forward in bear stance is so intimidating. Careful. Oh, two hits again. Oh! oh what a block on the hell sweep, Rank Chu! I just Five thought set. of something, Arius. I What's just that? thought of something. What's that? What if a bear becomes our global champion? <laughs> the wall pressure and another clutch block on the hell sweep. Yeah, and Chopping he's... cabbage. Nice work. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's looking really good, but what oh. a block there from Nee. Yes, man, rank two. He's going to be in grand finals. That's yeah. crazy. Okay, okay, be cool. Oh, oh my gosh, he caught him. He finally let it loose there, gets the bear uppercut. Yikes. The follow up, he has big wall damage here. Ouch. Other side. This is like top tier versus bottom tier, right? Yeah, close without to a doubt. Yeah, amazing. Bear, yeah. Rob Chu, this one is crazy. match away. Yes, and Nii, considering what he needs to do here, processing what he's seen before his eyes. He is sticking to Devil Jim. Does not compute, does not compute. What's going on here? Bear against Devil Jim? It makes no sense. Chopping cabbage, misses it for you. Oh! Unfortunate there. Oh my god, he's gonna have to be careful. Oh, and, uh, oh my god. Huge, yes. huge cojones. Wow. Ducking there. Oh man, you gotta have balls. Nice. Dude, I have not seen how limber this panda is. Exactly, right? Being able uh -oh. to move and outmaneuver Devil Jin at this point. Oh, oh my gosh, did you see that sidestep? What an amazing twin piston punish there. Rank Chu is such an impressive player, dude. This is amazing. The low! The low with it due to the stack. He has a break the wall, here. The wall! Corkscrew! Oh, Kazumi! Oh, the block! No punish! Oh! oh! Seven seconds left on the clock! Can he kill? Oh, oh what, what is he doing? What is that? A missing point. Huge put. mistake! Should not have played so many characters, perhaps. Wow! Amazing! Incredible! With one demon down, there was only one person left standing in Rong Chu's way. Kudons. Yeah, and here we go. We got both players up on the stage now, and it's gonna come down to this. The crowd obviously cheering them on. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know who to cheer for, man. This is nuts. But this time, Rong Chu and Panda stole the show. Oh my god! Wow, Rang Chu. You know, that, that was a good Opportunity, you know, Kudan thought he was gonna stay on the ground, goes yes. for the laser, but the wake up able to get the launch. The aerial stake, because that would have been ugly! Wow! Wow, wow, we wow! Yes, two rounds straight here for Rank Chu, coming out of loser's bracket. Is that a Panda Grand Finals? I think it is. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? Yeah. Both players are well within kill range! Is that gonna get, oh, oh no, he drops no. it! Citrus fruit! Citrus fruit! Oh wow, and look at that little mini pop off. You know, in the history of Tekken, there has never been a bear champion. Bear stance again. Is that gonna hit? Yes, oh, it is. Man. I don't think it's gonna kill, is it? Maybe. We'll see, the laser. Uh -oh. Almost, almost. Here we go, but that thing is, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Did oh you see that? God, slow mo. Rank Chu is on the cusp of resetting the bracket here, and he just did. Wang Chu took the first set three to one, resetting the bracket and setting up the final showdown. Kudans, I think, had prepared all year long to beat Ni. He wasn't preparing for this Rong Chu. He's thinking, I'm gonna play Ni again. I'm ready this time. All year long, he's been beating me with this Lily and whatever other garbage, but now I'm prepared for him. I'm gonna take him out and be the champion back to back. And so when Rong Chu beat Ni, I'm like, I think Kudans is in big trouble here. Oh, he caught him. Oh, good block. No tsunami kick punish. Oh, oh. Rank Chu pulling ahead in the set. After the reset, taking game one, the crowd loves seeing the bear win. Oh, oh. this is huge. Yes, he's going to get the wake up. Oh, and the wall. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, man. 
this momentum is starting to shift. I can feel it. Yep, definitely. Rank Chu is feeling good right now. He's feeling great. Two more rounds. What's he going to do? Running bear attack wow. into the mix up. Okay. One more hit, and he's one round away. Any life left? Oh, it's guaranteed. Last hit, bear champion. Oh, oh he got him. It's Follow not up. over. 15 seconds. Oh, he hit. Heaven's Gate. The ball. other no. side. Be careful. If one more, he can end oh. it here. Q dance. Oh, so no punish. We have a animal of a champion here. After all was said and done, Kudans and his Devil Jin fell. Three to one in the first set and three to one again after the bracket reset. Man, Man got congratulations, so I gotta give it up. Wow, amazing work by Forsan Rangchu. See, Rangchu ran a gauntlet, not just at the World Finals, but all year long. He attended event after event, all for a crack at the world title at a tournament his parents didn't even know he was at. I mean, no one would have guessed that he would be able to pull through here with that character against these opponents. He already snatched his trophy. Yeah, man. Give me that shit. <laughs> Beautiful work. But his reward didn't reflect that. He lifted that trophy and got just $7,500. Panda. <laughs> Panda. Really? <laughs> Congratulations. Now, everyone knew that going in, and fighting game prize pools have never been the highest, but that prize pool is still pretty rough. Just a few weeks after Rongchu's win, Gachi Kun won Capcom Cup and took home a quarter of a million dollars. Now, most of these guys aren't in it for the money. Fighting game prize pools usually aren't enough to live off of, but that money could help grow the scene. Rongchu is a shining example of what new blood can do for a scene. He flipped the tier list, beat some of the best players in the world, and cemented his name in history, all after just one year of pro play. And there's no denying that a higher prize pool can draw in new players who could grow the game just like he has. But now, it's up to Namco Bandai. If they can finally increase the prize pool, they could secure Tekken's legacy for years to come. Make some noise for Rank 2! Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button.